Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kibi Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. And today, I'm going to make a simple potato dish by the name of Bombay Potatoes or Bombay Aloo. It is such a flavorful Indian dish that you can virtually make it anytime, especially if you are regularly make Indian dishes. Because the ingredient required is pretty simple. What you need, of course, potatoes, some onions, and an array of Indian spices that most likely is already in your kitchen pantry, especially if you make Indian food regularly. You can use it as a side dish or make a larger batch as a main vegetarian dish. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's begin with the potatoes. You can choose whether you want to retain the skin. If you want to retain the skin, brush the potato well and clean it properly. You can also choose whether you want to use the baby potatoes, or in my case, I use the bigger one. Then I need to cut these large potatoes into one inch cubes. Besides that, slice one onion thinly. Then add the potatoes to a pot of water and add a teaspoon of salt to season it. Also a teaspoon of turmeric powder. The purpose of the turmeric powder is to enhance the color of the potatoes. The potato cubes are already soft. So now remove and drain. Let's take a look at the color of the potatoes. The potato cubes are very nice looking because the cubes are colored by the turmeric powder. Let's proceed to the next step. Add some oil in a pan over low to medium heat. Add the mustard seeds. When the seeds turn aromatic, add the sliced onion. I also add a handful of curry leaves. These leaves are optional. It is a little bit hard to get curry leaves, especially if you are not living in Asia. The next step is to fry the potatoes. You may want to skip this step if you do not want to deep fry it. What you can do is take the parboiled potatoes mixed with all the spices and then put it on a baking tray and bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes at about 175 degrees Celsius. The other option is to air fry the potato instead. But if you want to get the best result, always deep fry the potatoes. Deep fry the potatoes also firm up the shape so that it will not become uh, mashed potatoes when I mix with the spices in the next step. Now it is quite done, so let's remove the potatoes. Let's take a look of the spices that we need to cook the potatoes. Salt, and we have a coriander powder for the flavor, turmeric flavor as well as a color, paprika mainly for the color, some curry powder, some cashmere chili powder. Cashmere chili powder is reddish and less spicy. Then we have cumin powder, garam masala, and some crushed black pepper. Let's add all these spices back to the pan. That's the sliced onion. And some tomato paste. Heat it up and add some water. Still quite dry, so I add a little bit more 
Alternatively, you can use fresh tomato, chopped fresh tomato instead of the tomato paste. A little bit more. Okay. I've added some water, bring it to a boil, and now it becomes a curry paste. Let's return the potatoes back to the pan. And gently coat the potatoes with the curry paste. Cook it for a minute or two to let the potatoes to absorb the flavor. Lastly, add some chopped coriander leaves and kasuri methi, the dry fenugreek leaves. Give it a final stir and it's ready to serve. That's how to make Bombay potatoes and I hope you will love it. And I have included the recipe in the description below the video. And also you can download the recipe from my website, which I have also included the link in the description. Please subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and I will see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.